what I love about it is that it gives me information that I can't get at the slit lamp. So I can get an exact measurement on my tear meniscus height. I can see the color in the tear film to know that the oil is getting into the tear film. Um, can see the debris in the tear film, show the patient that. And it, it, not only is it giving me additional information, but it allows me to take some, some consistent measurements like the redness scale. And then I can track that patient's progress as they go along and then it, it builds their confidence in our treatment plan uh, from the beginning and, and the entire time. I would have to say interferometry is one of my favorites because again, I get to see the, the oil actually making it to the tear film. I love the tear film dynamic because it's a wonderful patient education tool when they have a lot of either migrating makeup or just debris in the tear film. They see that and they are very bothered by it, probably more so than we are. But again, it motivates behavioral change and that's what I'm trying to do and, and I couldn't do it otherwise. I also am just hooked on the fluorescein video because I will slow it down and I use it to determine if I have any partial blinks. And again, when they see it, it makes sense to them and, and it can help create that behavior change. The 5M is my patient education. Um, and, and I believe that it is the single most driving force to patient compliance in my office, undoubtedly. And we all know that without compliance, we're not gonna get any outcome because the patient has to be motivated to do what we ask them to do. And what I do is I, I put my nine picture collage up there and I walk them through the story. And, and they, they're not overwhelmed. There's a sense of hope and a feeling of just gratitude that someone is doing something different this time. And they see it, they understand it, and I say, here's our issues, and here's what we're gonna do about it.